what's going on guys 07 Merc back with another video for y'all so uh, I said in the other video I might do a POV I'm gonna do a detailing video I decided I'm gonna go ahead and start cleaning the vehicle a little bit so uh, in today's video I'm gonna actually be working on this video throughout the week because it's not gonna be like one day thing I'm gonna kind of work out through it the week because I'll be busy uh, but I will be showing it you know uh, but right now what we're gonna do is that we're gonna go ahead and do uh, the headlights so I'm gonna restore both the headlights uh, they're not that bad but they're Starting to yellow up, I'm gonna get rid of it now. Start looking, make it look a little fresh uh, onto the vehicle. So we're gonna be using the Turtle Wax um, Headlight Lens Restore. I've used this in the past, it's pretty good. If you guys never use this product, definitely recommend you use it if you get some bad headlights because it freaking works, man. So let's get into it. We'll do that and then after that, I'll go ahead and clip over to where we detail the vehicle in a little bit more detail. So let's do it. Alrighty guys, so here we are. It's gotten a little bit dark, but you know, we're just gonna run it. Um, so I did go ahead and I went ahead and already cleaned off the headlights. So here is the product we're gonna be using, the Turtle Wax Headlight Lens Restore. So if you guys never use this stuff, I'll show you how to use it. Uh, it's pretty easy, pretty simple, uh, self-explanatory for the most part. Uh, plenty of YouTube videos showing you how to do it, but this one is going to be specific to the Grand Marquis because we're working on the Grand Marquis and then uh, later on we'll cut to me detailing the inside, washing it and all that because I do plan on doing that sometime this week. But for now, let's go ahead and clean both of these headlights so we can start looking a little bit more fresher and nicer on the road. <laughs> down one more time here and uh, you guys could just use any bottle you have uh, I'm just using kind of like soapy water just quickly clean this here I got some soapy water and I'm just reusing this bottle here so, but you guys can use any spray bottle use soapy water you know just kind of quickly clean it so I'm gonna go ahead and do it on this side and since we'll start with the right one or the left one here come in with my towel we're gonna go ahead and clean that down one more time before we go ahead and get working on it. This one is actually the most dirtiest one. So this is the one we'll go ahead and be cleaning. Uh, the you know, one that really got me wanting to get this clean here. So what we wanna do is, where is my, there it is right here. Okay. So when you get yourself a rag, just like this, a regular rag, uh, we actually wanna start with the compound. So I was actually wrong. So we'll go ahead and start with the cleaning compound. We'll do that. Then we'll spray it down with the lubricant. Then we'll, um, we'll go ahead and sand it down. Depending on how bad your headlights are, depending on how much you're about to do this, mine isn't that bad. I'm probably gonna repeat the process maybe once or twice to really get a good result. But again, just depending on how dirty yours is, depending on how many times you'll repeat the process here. Uh, so let's get right into it. Thank you. 
again, it might be a little hard to see, but just like that, it is looking a lot better. Looking a lot better on the side. You guys can see the inside of there. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the left hand side, the right hand side, and we'll be good. All right, so we're here with the next day, guys. Um, we did the headlights. I'm gonna show you guys the headlights here in a minute, and I'm gonna show you all the supplies. Cause like I said, uh, I did the headlights last night. It's actually two days later. I was actually gonna, I was planning on doing it yesterday. I got caught up some things, so we're doing it today. Uh, to finally finish up uh, cleaning up the vehicle because uh, I would be starting a new position here uh, soon just to show you some news right and I want to make sure when I'm parking my vehicle in the top performer spot people know that my vehicle is looking fresh and clean so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and um, show you guys the cleaning process you know overlaps and everything some of the products that we'll be using and all that here uh and then hopefully you know maybe this video even helps you you know show uh clean up your grand marquees because i know a lot of folks you know are at least like i was i mean I, I was i never really done any of this before because here's the thing for me at least like i've always just taken it to the car wash had a normal wash on it call it about a day for the most part i used to do a little bit of detailing back in the day a little bit but i've just gotten lazy with it over time but uh it's time for this car to really uh get it uh get its licks and man it's it, it's, it's done it's uh it's duty so now i want to reward the car and make sure it gets clean taken care of and and all that so uh, i'll show you the headlights and then we're gonna show you all the products and everything else so let's get it so there it is guys so here's the vehicle uh, i want to go ahead and pull the vehicle out to the driveway I'm gonna start taking things out of the vehicle because I'm, I'm just hauling too much stuff. I mean, like I said, one nice thing about these cars is that they got so much room, so much storage space. Like, I carry a lot of stuff in the car, so, uh, you know, but it goes to be a double edged sword, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, we gotta go ahead and do that. In addition to that, here, lights are looking a lot better. Both of them are looking pretty good. That one in particular is definitely looking really good. I think I might have to do this one just a little bit more, not too make of a deal, but for the most part, both of them are looking way, way better than they were before. But yeah, I'm gonna pull it out to the driveway and then we're gonna start up on the detail. I got Jordan Belford over here. Um, so yeah, I got all these products here. So I got this particular kit. Just overall, this was the best one, and I've used these products before, so I trust them. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this particular kit for the wash and the tires and everything in the interior uh, and the windshine, right? Uh, here's the foam pump that we'll be using. Uh, I got plenty of microfiber towels to go. My tire, uh, just gonna help me to clean the interior and the tires. Uh, this is what's really gonna help out with the paint correction, right? Because we're gonna go ahead, compound it, then we're polishing it, and then we're gonna hit it with a clean coat of wax. Like, you're gonna see the difference with it uh, on this paint. Like, for real, like, you thought this paint looked good before, man. You're about to see a huge difference in this paint. So, let's get it. Thing done for this car so even though it's gonna take a little bit of time a little bit of pumping 
uh, I'm gonna do it. Now, of course, the foam pump is not particularly required. Uh, you could go ahead, I mean, a lot more better efficient way uh, of doing this, guys, is having a uh, pressure washer. Obviously, if you have a pressure washer, it's gonna be a lot better than a foam can. Honestly, like I said, I'm doing it on a budget, so I'm doing a pump. Uh, and uh, again, it's for the most part, I mean, I pay like $8 for this thing and it's not bad. It takes me a little bit, but it gets the soap on there. Sure, it's not crazy lather, but you know what I mean? It's, it's gonna be good, again, for our, on our budget and what we're doing it for, it's perfect what we're doing it for. now is fully washed and fully dry i'm gonna go ahead and now start uh doing the paint correction and then the rims as well since i'm waiting for one of my power tool batteries to be charged so we can really get into the rims get the grime so we get the 
real clean inside without scratching them up as we're cleaning them, okay? I put a tape down here. I'm gonna clean the left-hand side. You can see the difference from the left to the right-hand side once I'm finished up, right? But again, what we're gonna go ahead and do is that we're gonna go ahead and come with the compound first since this is the uh, most heaviest and heavy duty. Uh, that's gonna go ahead and take most of that stuff off, grime up, kind of polish it up a little bit. And then we're actually gonna come in with the actual polish, kind of make it look a little bit more shine, uh, you know, kind of smoothing it up. And then by that point, we'll go ahead and put the wax coating on it, making it fully clean and giving it a little bit extra protection, uh, at least over for the next couple months until we'll have to go ahead and repeat this process again with the wax, right? So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start getting that done. Okay guys, so I got the left hand side done and we left the right hand side exactly how it was. I'm gonna go ahead and take off the tape. And hopefully you guys are able to see it because this is a lot more better and a lot more reflective than this because this is just going in here. Maybe it's a little bit hard if I see if I come out a little bit. Okay guys, so I had an incident, uh, something happened, I had to rush off to deal with it and handle it, so I had to come back and kind of finish everything off. I uh, kind of lost a couple of footage as well, but ultimately, I got everything super cleaned out, alright? Um, we got the, we obviously we washed it out and we started uh, doing the paint uh, correction, like in the sense like, you know, making the best of our paint, right? We're not putting any on there and it's looking good. I'm gonna clean out the wheels here in a second, like fully clean the rims out to get them fully cleaned out. But other than that, things looking good, super reflective. You look at that right there, man. Oh yeah, she is looking beautiful. Waxed out, ready to go and everything. Once I'm done with that, cleaning out the wheels, we'll move her in. I'll clean out the, uh, the glass, cause I haven't cleaned any of the glass. Then we'll clean the interior and then That'll be it. are finally finished they're looking super fresh here as you can see I got most of the grime off of it there is some staining that's really heavy in there I was had a little hard time getting out but for the most part pretty good 
nothing anybody's really gonna notice unless they're really looking you know what i'm saying but other than that it's looking good car's looking good man Oof. there we go yeah we're looking set i'm gonna pull the baby in clean the glass and then the interior are practically almost cleaned uh, the rugs or the weather tech mats have been cleaned I'm about to clean the uh, interior bottom flooring and a little bit on top then we're gonna put all the mats back in then we'll go ahead and wipe the leather down which is the interior cleaner and then that's it boys we are all set to go and the pamphlet is looking sharp uh, definitely and uh in the future one of the future episodes i'm thinking maybe when uh in the episode where i get tint on the car uh that's where i plan on maybe taking the chrome out taking all this out and spay painting it black maybe have it like a blackout package around like black here and then maybe we'll go ahead and maybe paste paint the rims as well to black uh so then at that point you know it'll be looking good but we'll see we'll see uh for now let me go ahead and get that and then we're all set I turn it all around if I could, but I know it's not enough. I've been trying to reach you, baby. I lose my mind. You've been kind of see through lately, but you're good for me. Cause every time you hurt me, I go na na. See what I'm doing Did I take a bullet for you? It's easy, I don't let go But I won't I need your hand, need you right now You throw it away like it's nothing It's easy, I don't let go But I won't You're so inside the agony Stop for a second, breathe I'll turn it all around if I could But I know it's not enough I've been trying to reach you, baby I lose my mind You've been kind of seen through lately But you're good for me so that's it she's done interior exterior rims wheels trunk everything's looking good vehicles are looking shine wax uh, paints 
gonna be protected for a little bit. Interior looking fresh. Mats are all good to go. Yes, sir. Everything is all good with this pamper. So we're all set. Alrighty, man, so that's it for the video. I appreciate y'all for watching here. Hopefully y'all have been enjoying the pamper uh, content uh, and you know, with all the detailing. Next one, we'll probably maybe do a POV, we'll see. Uh, but yeah, man, the vehicle is ready to go. I'm happy uh, with this vehicle, especially since I'm not gonna have to clean this thing like that for a little bit uh, because again, it took me like four, six hours, like going back and forth between doing a couple of things and really getting in there and all that. But she's looking a lot better, man, so I'm happy. So peace.